Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Aneke Godwin Emeka from the Department of Chemical Engineering, Namdi Azikiwe University, Oka, with the topic Biodiesel Production Problems and the Cost Effective Management, presented at the 2020 Sustainable Engineering and the Industrial Technology Conference holding at the Faculty of Engineering, University of Nigeria, Osaka, from 1st to 6th July 2020. On our abstract, the purpose of this paper was to identify the means of producing a less expensive biodiesel using heterogeneous transesterification as well as feedstock oil and bio-based catalyst obtained from a renewable waste. Identified problems such as free fatty acid content, moisture content, transesterification method, catalyst selection and process parameters was respectively addressed with esterification, preheating, heterogeneous transesterification, bio-based catalyst and optimization process. This paper concluded that bio-based catalytic heterogeneous transesterification process simultaneously involve esterification and transesterification reactions and as well was able to manage moisture content, free fatty acid content above 1% as well as preventing some refining processes like the gumming and the alkali treatment of the oil. Also, the cost of the raw feedstock materials in the case is very cheap biodiesel. On our introduction, biodiesel have been seen as a replacement fuel to the petrol diesel because of its striking properties such as renewability, non-toxicity, biodegradable and environmental friendly. These properties should have been an edge for biodiesel to outfit petrol diesel in the labor market. But it has not done that. Evidently, the price of petrol diesel is still affordable despite steady increase. The main hurdle in the commercialization of biodiesel is the cost of raw feedstock. One way to reduce the cost of biodiesel production is to employ cheaper feedstock. In view of this, this paper is focused on identifying cheap waste vegetable oil, non-edible plants and animal fat as well as bio-based catalyst of renewable waste which can be used to carry out a heterogeneous transesterification process thus producing a less expensive biodiesel which can serve as a substitute to the petrol diesel in the labor market. The study also identified major problems encountered in biodiesel production and its low cost and effective management. On the challenges of biodiesel production, the first is the free fatty acid. And these are acids which get separated from glycerol spine during hydrolysis upon continuous exposure to moisture environment for prolonged time. It is noteworthy that purified feedstock oil for biodiesel production will ensure higher yield. Invariably, most of oils obtained from waste sources are usually having high content of free fatty acid. This FFA content should be less than 1% in order to give qualitative yield of biodiesel. The FFA content can also be monitored with the acid value. And the acid value is used to quantify the amount of acid present as a sample of biodiesel. The FFA content is approximately half of the acid value. Therefore, an acid value which is good for biodiesel should be less than 2 mg potassium hydroxide per gram. 
next moisture content the higher the quantity of moisture content in oil the more the reduced chances of producing a greater percentage of biodiesel therefore it poses a big threat to the biodiesel production and it must be dealt with before producing biodiesel next is uh, trace stratification method the method of producing biodiesel is also a factor which plays a major role in quality of the produced biodiesel as well as its cost it is certain that the easiest method of producing biodiesel is a homogeneous trace stratification process most researchers usually apply it however it has some disadvantages such as extra neutralization by mineral acid highly corrosive to the equipment results in formation of soap releases a large amount of waste water in the process of separation and cleaning of the catalyst and the product next is catalyst selection selecting a catalyst a liquid catalyst is easiest for biodiesel production for the fact that it does not involve much time consumption during preparation although it is associated with many problems like corrosive to the equipment used involves plenty of water during separation from a biodiesel next is the feedstock oil the problem associated with the feedstock oil is simply the choice for an oil which can give high yield of biodiesel during production. Such oil contain very low content of free fatty acid, indicating that those oils are usually refined or obtained for edible plant seeds. Good examples of edible sources are granite, melon, avocado pear, palm kernel, etc. Ordinarily, oils are refined for the sake of human consumption. Therefore, it gives a high yield of biodiesel when used as feedstock oil, although it causes decrease in human food as well as attracts high cost of purchase. On next, the process parameters. The problem of process parameters such as temperature, catalyst concentration, alcohol to oil, molar ratio mixed speed and the time are very important and will play a major role in biodiesel production and next is uh, management of the biodiesel to manage these pending problems the free fatty acid content should be addressed with a starification process or acid catalyzed homogeneous trans starification process in order to step down the free fatty acid content to below 1%. Before applying the alkali catalyzer homogeneous trans esterification process or solid catalyzer trans esterification process. Before working on FFA content, some refining processes like the gumming and alkali treatment may be carried out. For the water content, the feedstock oil must be preheated to certain temperature to vaporize the moisture content. In general, the problems of process parameters can be easily handled by optimization process. The optimal conditions for these parameters can be obtained from the literature, although temperature is considered with a range of values closer to the boiling point of, e of the used alcohol. Recently, researchers carried out optimization process with response surface method and then neural artificial neural network. Next is a biodiesel economized. To carry out an economized biodiesel, it is recommended to obtain a feedstock oil from non-edible plant, waste vegetable oil, and animal fat. To this level. The conflict between food and fuel has ended with this development. Good examples of such oil include rubber seed oil, jatropha seed oil, pig fat oil, used frying oil, palm oil olein, 
safflower uh, oil, etc. However, this category of oil usually have high FFA content. Secondly, selection of bio-based catalysts for biodiesel production plays a major role in reducing the cost of biodiesel. The bio-based catalyst sources include unripe and ripe plantain peel, cow bone, cola nut pod, banana peel, etc. It invariably means that heterogeneous catalyzer transesterification process will be used for such biodiesel production. A researcher stated that the solid catalyst in biodiesel production can simultaneously involve both esterification and the transesterification reactions. It also has the potential to handle the FFA content of above 1% as well as the presence of high water content effectively. In this study, bio-based catalyst is preferred to synthesized catalyst because of its cheaper source. According to researchers, the cost of producing biodiesel using refined oil and synthesized heterogeneous catalyst is more than 1.2 dollar per liter. Employing bio-based catalyst instead of synthetic catalyst reduces the biodiesel production to one dollar per liter. However, the production of of the production cost of biodiesel is higher than that of the diesel. The price that is the price of diesel is 0 0.9 dollar per liter. Also, using a waste cooking oil and bio-based catalyst to produce biodiesel shows that the cost of producing one liter of pure biodiesel equals 0 0.39 dollar per liter, which is less than half the price of one liter of diesel. Finally, biodiesel produced with a neglect to recommended cheap feedstock oil and bio-based catalyst will be very costly. And then and next the conclusion. This paper was able to identify major problems associated with biodiesel production. They include FFA content, moisture content, transesterification method, catalyst selection, process parameters. At the same time, profiled solution based on quality performance and cost of effectiveness. Finally, biodiesel catalytic transesterification process was found to be effective in managing the FFA content above 1%, moisture content, and prevented refining processes like degumming and the alkali treatment of the feedstock oil. As a result, an economized means of producing less expensive biodiesel was developed. In our recommendation, since it is possible to produce a less expensive biodiesel, this paper recommends that Nigerian government should start using biodiesel or its blend with petrol diesel to make alternative fuel for the exhausting fossil fuel. Secondly, Nigerian government should invest as well as give license of operation to private investors to invest in biodiesel production in order to diversify her economy and create employment opportunities for Nigerians. Lastly, researchers like myself are expected to join the queue of finding a better means of reducing the cost of biodiesel production. At this point, we bring this presentation to an end. Thank you.